All right, you are with Eric at EHS Racing again. If you follow my page, I keep posting all these ECU flashes on Raptors and Yamahas. Here's another one. This scenario is a bike that got drug out the barn, no telling. I supposedly built this, you know, I'm guessing two, three years ago. I don't remember. I don't remember them when I built them three months ago or three years ago. Uh, fresh oil change, fresh chain, got it running, put it on the dyno, made pretty good power. Okay, Empire Duels, not my tuner, but we probably tuned it when it was built with that tuner. Fuel custom intake, by the horsepower, I'm going to guess it's got a board throttle body. Maybe some port work, I don't remember. Let's say it does, let's say it don't, I don't really know. Okay. Here is the horsepower, first pass. Okay, 66 horsepower. Big old dip. Okay, still pretty solid build for getting drug out the barn. I'm gonna do a quick pass. I'm gonna go flash the ECU, put some parameters in here I got for it. I'm gonna match it with my map inside that Trinity tuner. So I'm gonna change it into my code in the tuner, my code in the ECU, and we fixing to see what it's gonna do. is on like 93 pump cast too. I'm gonna put some MR12 in it in a little bit after we do this test. Alright. I'm gonna hit pause and come back. Alright. I'm gonna do this quick because I'm gonna try to fit one more video in here. But we're back. All I did I reloaded parameters into here. Not hit the buttons. Like reloaded code into this tuner that matches something that I've designed and got in this ECU and reprogrammed it to how I think it should work. All right, first pass results right here, blue line. We picked up seven horsepower there, okay, more in the over rev. I'm gonna do a pass and show you, and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna put some MR12 in it then I'm gonna make some quick adjustments only on the fuel controller. That's why this is so cool when you match a flash with a fuel controller. You can then adjust for easy things like fuel or a throttle body change where the parameters aren't way different. You don't have to send the ECU back in. Red line, right over top of the blue line, same thing.
We'll be back again. All right, we are back. Brown line, MR12. Red line, I think it's 93, 87, 93. Let me get a different color there. There we go, blue line. MR12 picked up five horsepower right there. Peak, probably two horsepower. Okay, so what else I did is I drained most of the 93 out, I dumped MR12 in, and I added a half a point of fuel to the yellow and one point of fuel to the red. So in math conversions, that's probably about 3% extra fuel at wide open throttle pulse width, and maybe 1% in the yellow mode or acceleration side. Same ECU flash as what it was set up for with the other gas, but now when we made a change, we can make the change in the tuner which is really the big benefit with having the tuner flash combo. You can do some on the fly adjusting, but you like, I don't give you enough adjustment to do very much. It's a little bit, so you can fine tune it in. You know, it's like having an electronic carburetor or something, you know, you can just change a jet real quick, 165 to a 167 and try it in a click of a button. But all the good math is done inside the ECU. Ignition, you know, you put this thing up against where we were when it showed up. Okay. That pass versus that. That is a heck of a difference. You know, that's 10 horsepower there. You know, four horsepower there. You know, that's not something I built, like with a tune that I did. And I know what I'm doing. Y'all don't. You know, that's just the capability of what this thing is doing. I'm gonna do a pass and post it. Red line's the new one. 